Hi and welcome back to Grachnid and welcome back to the Invertarium. Uh, this evening uh, the shipment of spiders finally came in from the spider shop to um, to the place where I work, the Durham Valley Pet Centre. Uh, so what I thought this evening I would do is show you what arrived, um, do a bit of an unboxing video, although I'll be, it's not going to be in the typical sense. Uh, but I will show you the enclosures I'm putting them into as I get them out, so you'll be able to see that. Um, and just talk about a few things in general as well. I have got an announcement to make. Uh, I don't, I, depending on who you are and uh, how much you like this channel, it could be exciting and it might be just, eh, you know what I mean? But uh, the, the exciting news is that the Invertarium is going to be expanding, yeah. Not only I'm in the order, just finished this place. Um, I've just realised that just recently it's become a little bit cramped as you can see. The stands encroaching from every direction, uh, run out of wall space, uh, there's nowhere left to expand in here so I'm literally uh, hemmed in at all sides. The only space I've got physically is this walkway from the door behind me to where I'm sat now uh, and it's, it's getting a little cramped so what I've decided to do is uh, I've got a couple of weeks off over the festive period. So I'm hoping to expand into my loft, which is two or three times bigger than this. So the invertarium will become much bigger, much better. It will give me more space to film. And also, as you guessed, there will be more exotic pets to show you. It will be more space as well for the rescue side of Garachnids, which is something I want to take forward quite quickly. So that was the, uh, the news I had for you. Uh, once again, can it, if you could leave some comments about that, say if that's a good thing, bad thing, uh, if you're looking forward to it, you know, that type of thing. So, so yeah, I'm going to push forward to this video. I just want to say a couple of thank yous firstly. Firstly, of course, a big thank you goes to everybody out there. Uh, we've got 70 subscribers now, which compared to other channels, it's small fry, I know that. But I am so proud of that. It's, it, it, we've been going for about three short months now. And... What I've achieved on this channel is incredible. It's been absolutely brilliant and I've enjoyed the ride and it's going to get a lot better from here on in, especially when we uh, transfer upstairs because the sky's the limit then, quite literally. It's just going to be above me. So, uh, yeah, uh, moving forward again. So, yeah, thanks for all my subscribers. Thanks for watching this channel. Uh, it means the world to me and I'm getting more and more feedback now from people. Uh, I, this week, for instance, I even got somebody from Germany who subscribed to the channel, which is absolutely fantastic. So, please keep subscribing. Please share this with your friends. Please get it out there. When I want to make this channel as big as possible, but for the right reasons. I want to show people my love of this 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 exotic pets thing. Um, I've got a real passion for this. Real, real passion for this. And I, I want to share it with you. And, and I'm on a journey. I mean, I have got some knowledge here. I, I haven't gone into this blind, especially with the spider side of things. I do have quite a bit of knowledge, but there's no way that I can fully learn everything. So th this is what the invert journey is about. It's about me getting these animals, learning to look after them, uh, hopefully um, reproducing it with, with luck. And, and again, you know, sharing that journey with you. So... Like I say, please spread the word and get, get as many people as we can to join it. On that note, what I'm hoping to do is once I reach 100 subscribers, I'm going to have that question and answer session. Uh, I think before then, really, it, there's not going to be enough people to have a live stream, I don't think, to make it work properly. So once we've got to 100 subscribers, as soon as we're there, I will announce that we're doing a question and answer session. So it's up to you guys. If you want this question and answer session, get out there. Tell your friends, get them subscribed, and we can push on with that. So, without further ado, then, let's move on with this video. Uh, again, thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't. Don't forget to subscribe, especially if you're a new viewer and you've enjoyed the video so far. And don't forget to press that bell button to let you, uh, it's to notify you of any new videos coming out. Okay then. Okay then, so this is the box I brought the, uh, the spiders home. What I did forget to tell you is that one of the spiders in here, one of the tarantulas, sorry, um, is has become very fast a bit of a celebrity, actually. And I, I'll show you that spider in a moment, but it's not going to be staying with me. It's actually going to be staying up at the Durham Valley Pet Centre, uh, where all these uh, these um, inverts have come from. 
So he is going to become a, a shop pet because he or she, sorry, I don't know which one it is, it is just lovely. It's, it's handleable and we thought that what could be better to have a, a shop pet like this. So without further ado, let's get on with it. And here we go. Let's get rid of that lid. So yes, this one here is the... Uh, the little guy I was talking about and of course he's a fun of Pelma Calcodes as you can see there absolutely beautiful little spider this guy excellent temperament um, make great great beginner spiders these uh, he's been no problem at all in fact let's see if we can get him out just to show you what type of a tarantula he is as you can see I mean he's no problem at all Come on, guy. Let's have you. That's it. That's it. So that's how uh, how good he is. He's he's a lovely spider. Absolutely beautiful. No problem at all with him. Shoots a very very laid back spider. But this is uh, certainly typical of the, the odd ones I've come across. But I certainly will be having one of these for my collection very, very soon. Because what a superb spider they are. In fact, I'd, uh, I'd leave and like to look at breeding these eventually. Okay then, so that's the uh, Calcodes. Oh, don't want that in with it. He doesn't like going back, as you can see. He's doing a bit of a run round. So, moving on from that... Um, Okay then, so these are the ones that uh, are going to be staying in within my collection. So, this is the C. albostriatum, which is the Thailand Zebra. Um, depending on where you come from, uh, these are quite hard to get hold of. When I saw this uh, advertised for sale uh, with, you know, through our shop, uh, the Doon Valley Pet Centre, I jumped at the possibility of getting one of these because it, it's something that I certainly haven't had a chance to get before. So we'll, we'll, have, we'll be having a look at that in a moment. So yeah, this is the uh, the common name is the blue bottle. The species blue. Uh, I think it's... Uh, I'll just have to take the fact I'll have a look up the name, full name, uh, when I get back to you in a moment. When we start rehousing them, because of, it's just slipped my mind what this is called. It's, it's like Pseudohaplus, I think it's Pseudohaplus species blue, which is the uh, the blue bottle. So again, another quite rare spider. Um, I've very rarely come across this when I've heard of it before, but not often uh, seen it offered for sale. So that's going to be an interesting one. Of course, these are only small slings as well, so uh, they're not going to have the full colour. And unfortunately, I know it's. A bit of a bugbear for a lot of uh, spider keepers, but at this point they very much look very much alike. To just the, the the general brown sling, I think. Yeah. So this is the uh, the H Arizonesis. This is the uh, desert. Uh, this is the hairy, the giant hairy desert scorpion from Arizona, obviously with a name like this. Uh, so uh, it's a scorpion I've been after for quite a while. Not that hard to get older, but it's. I just never got around to getting this one, uh, and I'm really glad I have now. So it's only a small specimen, but again, this will grow quite quickly. And the last one is Nandu Carapinesis. Uh, again, it's it's one that I've wanted for a while and never come across. Um, not through lack of trying, but it's it's not just it's just not come up in the circles that I'm moving. So I'm glad I've got this now, and this uh, means that I've got four different. Uh, Nandu's which is which is great to have really so let's move this out of the way and I think what we'll start with is the zebra so in good old blue feeder blue pizza I should say a fashion here's uh, an enclosure that I prepared earlier so uh, this, this type of spider is fossorial, so I've done that research, and I prepared this using just basic cocoa fibre, a bit of live moss in there, but I've, I've uh, created a tube in there, and it's a, a clear tube, and that goes right the way back, so I'm hoping 
it'll be happy in there. If not, what I will do is um, I'll, I'll move it into something where it can actually do its own burying. But I've seen the kit quite successfully in this type of enclosure. I've got um, a lividum uh, in a very small enclosure, which is also fossorial, and that one is very, very happy in its surroundings. Uh, so we're going to try this way first, and if it don't work, obviously I'll give it more what it needs, which is deep substrate, and it can dig its own tunnels. But hopefully this will do. So let's make sure I've got my tongs, which are there. Put them there a moment. I need to make sure I've got a capture cup standing by, which is there. And I think I'll have a soft brush ready just in case, just to ease it if it doesn't. So let's see how we go. So straight away there, you can actually see. I don't know if you can make out there. It's uh, just there. Look, I can actually see the chevrons on its rum. It's looking like a beautiful specimen, to be fair. So I'm just using it easy out and just see what happens. Right, okay. Let's see if we can get him up here first. So you can all see him as he uh, comes out and shows his true glory. I'm just being ginger with him because obviously a lot of these spiders are a bit slow after shipping, but I have been startled by a couple of them in the past. Oh, he's uh, certainly worked on shredding his paper. And there you can see him there. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful little specimen. This tub is a little bit big for him, but I think he'll be happy in here. And um, I'm, I think I, I just think he'll be happy. I keep my eye on him, and if it is too big for him, obviously he'll let me know that. And we can move into a smaller enclosure. But he's looking absolutely beautiful. Uh, let me see if I can just lift him up towards you. Don't if you can see him there. Not very clear, is it? On the because there's spiders on the uh, tripod, and it's totally out of uh, shot there, wasn't it? I'm uh, obviously just trying to keep my hands free and uh, dedicate them, obviously, to the uh, real hands of the spider. But what I will do is I'll get it a bit closer once I've got them settled in here. So let's see if we can just ease them off this paper. Sorry, kid, I dropped you there, didn't I? Let me see how he uh, reacts to just being gently touched. Ah, okay. Come on then kid, I think you're a bit cold. Ah, now then you see. A little spurt of speed there, I don't know if you saw it. Yeah. Not as inactive as it uh, lack us to believe. So let me just get this camera, just bear with me while might be a little bit shaky this so I apologise for that but I don't know if you can just see him there an absolute beautiful little spider let me see if I can just uh, zoom in on him just bear with me one moment there we go so that is a Thai zebra and uh, I've got to say I'm uh, thrilled at this one it's an absolutely beautiful spider okay then so let's move on, let me just put the camera back in place where it was. Just bear with me a moment. So I think we're about there. Okay then, so uh, let's move on then. Let me just get the lid for this, that's it. I'll just put him to one side. Well, so we house the others. Right then, let me uh, just zoom you in a bit so you're a bit nearer the table. That's a bit better. Okay then, so next I think we'll tr we'll try and do the scorpion. So once again, I prepared a little enclosure for him. He, he's not very big at the moment, so I think this will be adequate for what he needs. Um, let me see. There we go. See if we can uh, give you a bit of a shot of him first before I transfer him. Let 
I will show you a close up though, obviously, once I've uh, got them settled. Oh, it's a lovely little scorpion. So I don't know if you can see him there. Absolutely beautiful little scorpion. So yeah, I'm out of the shot again. I'm absolutely terrible at this. My apologies. Let's have a look. I don't know if you can just pick him up there, but what I will do is uh, I will obviously give you a close up of this again. Uh, one of the problems we're working, we try to work with free hands, is you don't always see what's in shot, so my apologies for that. It actually looks quite big, actually. Uh, that's it's quite well fed, so that, that is a bonus. Let me just see if I can ease them off this paper. Come on in, kid. Come on in. Yeah, he's looking really well fed. There we go. Yep. So we're easing. Again, let me uh, just grab the camera. So it's going to be a bit shaky for a moment, if you can just bear with me. Okay, so... Let me have a look. So there we go. That is the guy. As you see, Arizonesis. Yeah, he's looking really good. Oh, and he's out. Let me grab a capture cup. Oh, is he going to get himself in? No, he's not. Oh! <clears throat> right, okay, then just. I'm just going to pause the video for one minute while I get him back in his enclosure. I have actually caught him there. So let me just pause this while I get him back in the enclosure. Okay, so he's back in his enclosure now. He's a very lively little chap. So yeah, he's looking really healthy, really nice scope in there, very, very happy with him. Or her, sorry, with him or her. Right, okay, and so we'll uh, move on to the next one. Okay, so my final two tonight, I'm going to just show you. Uh, because my battery's running low, and I don't want to... Uh, not show you this couple of spiders. So this one is, yeah, this is the Carapanesis. So I'll just show you this quickly. So only a little sleigh. Uh, again, sorry about the camera work. But this is what happens when you're in a bit of a rush to try and show you. So yeah, there we go. So that's a little sling carapanesis. Okay. In fact, what I'll do, I'll just set this camera back down again. I'm just going to uh, put this little guy just inside this tube for now. Let's see. Go on, thank you. So I can rehouse him in a moment. And then this one is the rare Pseudohaplus species blue bottle. So I'll just show you this guy. I think I've got a good feeling this is going to be an absolutely tiny, tiny little spider. Let's have a look, see if I can find it. Oh, he is, yeah, he's absolutely manual. So, let's see. I don't know if you'll be able to pick this up. I'm hoping you can. So, again, apologies for the uh, shaky camera work. Just bear with me, he's decided to have a little bit of a room round. So, where is he? He's there. So you can just see him there. Tiny, tiny little sling. So I hope this is focusing because it's a really tiny little sling. Yeah, so that, that's a, a little rare spider for you. So what I'm going to do now is i'm just going to put this somewhere safe and i will be back with you in a moment so once again i uh, hope you enjoyed uh, seeing those spiders and the scorpion um i'm trying to rush this a bit because uh, my battery is just about to die now i want to get this out to you as soon as possible so literally these are coming today and this video is going out today so it's been a bit of a rush job so again apologies for the absolutely terrible camera work there but i hope you got the gist of what was happening and hopefully you saw everything that i was uh, 
I got today and was rehousing. Uh, the two little spies, what we'll do is in the next video, I'll show you them in situ. So you won't miss out on that either. So like I say, many apologies for the terrible camera work. I'm learning as well. What can I say? So again, thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't. Send some comments out there. I'm not sure there'll be one or two about uh, my camera work, but you know, go easy on me. Uh, don't forget to press that subscription button. Uh, notification as well to make sure that you don't miss a single video from the Invertarium or from Garachnid. Uh, until next time, it's good evening from me and the Finches. They always stop. So what's the point of them? They always stop. See you later. Just one more thing before I go as well. Don't forget that all these spiders you've seen tonight and many more now, uh, including scorpions, other inverts, mantis, mantids I should say, uh, it's in cockroaches, all available at Durham Valley Pet Centre. So if you live in the South Yorkshire area or further afield for that matter, please, please, please give them a try. The, their invert selection is now growing by the day and it is A1. And I know because they have the best invert expert there of all time, which is me.